Hi folks, and welcome to No Man's Sky. So, No Man's Sky is a game that came out, I believe, eight years ago now. So, quite some time ago. I did look quite interested at it when it first came out, and then I saw it when it came out, and I thought, nope, that's not for me. However, recently, it's had its fifth update, fifth major update, which I believe is called Worlds. And I've seen a little bit of footage floating about the YouTubes on this game and this update, and it's getting rather positive reviews. So I thought, hey, I'm going to give that a go now. So I've downloaded the game. I've I've played it for I don't know, maybe an hour, not not too much. Hey, hey let's see. Begin initialization. But yeah, I've had a little play around on it, had a wee look, and I thought, yep, yeah, okay, well, let's let's do a little mini mini series taking a look at the game. So here we are on our initial planet. Waking up, not knowing where we are. Looks like we've got an ice planet that's minus 55 degrees C. Aerial propulsion jetpack online. Jetpack is online. Multi-tool inlining laser attachment operational. There's our multi-tool. User initialization sequence complete. Itonistone 3. Okay, right, so our hazard protection is very low. External temperature dangerously low. So the first thing we have to do is perform a scan to find sodium. So we press C, and it's damaged. So we have to fix it, and we need 75 ferrite dust to fix it. Okay, so we can bring out our multi-tool, and you can see these unidentified rocks here, and it tells you it gives you ferrite dust. Oh, that's nice, it's right in front of us. Blast a couple of these rocks. There will be bigger rocks around somewhere as well. 45, 51, 60. There we go, that should be enough. Right, repair damage, so right click the continue. And then down at the bottom right, it says repair the scanner, use the tab to access multi-tool inventory. There we go, there is the scanner, it needs 70 ferrite dust to fix, repair it. It is repaired. Return, okay, so now we can press C. And we can do a scan, and it shows us the symbols of various mi minerals. And Na, of course, is sodium. So let's run over to the sodium plant. We've got a little jetpack that we can fly with. Ooh, ooh it's... Ooh. Yep, yeah, okay, we're back. It was freezing up there. Right, pick up the plant. Uh, other ones over here. A recharge the hazard protection. So if we go to tab again, there's our hazard protection currently at 17. Uh, we can use any of these things to recharge it. We only have sodium at the moment. Drop that on there. That was enough to go up to 63. Right. So we're going to need to get some more. You can see the blue bar has now went up a little bit. Starship signal protected. Hello, creature. Are you friendly? It is friendly. Let's get some more ferrite dust. We're going to need lots of that. Right. Where is that plant? Is it just around the other side of the cliff? Oh, there's a big, big drop off down there. Oh, it's quite far down. There's a mineral that we can't get yet. There it is. You can see the, the sodium plants that glow yellow. Let's run down and pick that up. 
So reach the marked spot, the exosuit detected a signal broadcast. Use the scanner to highlight the key resources. So that's E to pick that up. That's a plant that a... Uh... Oh, it's, it's an aggressive plant. It gives us oxygen. Is that another plant there? No, it's not. Uh, where was that other sodium? Over there, some just here. We need that to keep our hazard protection topped up. Right, where? A quick look over here. How far away is that? Not too far, so let's go and grab it. friendly. Yeah, look friendly. Oh, sodium. Right, let's just top up our suit. Up to 100%, there we go. Right, so where is that ship marker? It is over in that direction, that red marker. Oh, there is a big... How far away is it? There's a big cliff face there. Oh, it's... It's this side of the cliff face, so that's cool. I get my energy up. I can see the smoke going. Are you more... Frozen tubers? Or E to get them. Whatever that is. Sodium over here. Oh, what's this? Uh, e to search. Atlas pass one required. So we don't have an atlas pass yet. Damage con container. So we can grab that rusted metal. And it gives us some dihydrogen. Fair enough. There's more sodium there. Oxygen plants there. There is the there is the ship. All right, let me see. It's Q and then space. I think is the the trick to use a jetpack forward. So Q does a a melee attack like that. And if you do that and hit space, you'll boost forward. Oxygen plants because we're definitely going to need oxygen. Right, let's see. What's that? <laughs> Popping out of the, the ground. Right. Scenario. Iteration number deleted. Boundary separation failure likely. Vessel 16 emptied. Cause sentinel intervention. Deliberate transfer. Analysis. Fresh iteration generated. Anomality containment prepared. Okay, let's broadcast that. Don't know what that means. Broadcast received. Traveler anomaly detected. Anomaly is compliant. Position logged. System integrity scan initialized. Investigate the crash ship. We'll look at this stuff first. What's that? Buried technology. Well, we can't go dig yet. We don't have the tools to do that. Damage machinery. More rusted metal. Put it in our suit. Uh, and it gives us a scanner module. Upgrade modules improve specific te technology you have already installed. Each module is unique. Search out specific or rare modules at each space station. Okay. Right, well, I'm not sure what we do with that yet, so we'll just keep a hold of it. Another damaged container. More rusted metal. Put that in our suit. Uh, dihydrogen jelly. It's actually that. Carbon. Condensed carbon, even. Uh, that's the Atlas Pass thing. And this is... More condensed carbon. Nice. 
Right, let's jump in the ship and see what it's seeing. Iteration, big long number again, online. Atlas connection, intermittent. Launch thrusters, offline. Pulse engine, offline. I find myself alone on a strange world, unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here, no sense of a before. But this ship has at least seems to recognise me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet, and the ship is a lifeline out to the stars. Read log? Log number 4925A, unavailable. Substituting data. Exosuit, connected. Suggestion, pilot should perform basic, main, uh, no, perform maintenance. Select desired repair path. Uh, repair ship systems. Self-guided repair protocols initiated. Okay, so pulse engine requires a hermetic seal and metal plating to repair it. Launch thrusters can critically damage. Press E to exit. Okay, right, so... Here's our guidance. Repair pulse engine need metal plating. Continue. Collect ferrite dust. Oh no, it changed over. Craft metal plating to repair pulse engine. Ferrite dust required, 50 of 50. Use tab to access inventory. Use the left mouse button to craft slots. So tab. Right, so this is our technology. This is our ship at the moment. These are the parts of our ship. So we've got a broken 0% launch thruster and a 0% pulse engine. Uh, in our exos... Oh, and this is our cargo hold where we can carry stuff. Uh, this is our exosuit. This is a technology we've got installed which we can add to. Our hazard protection, our life support and our jetpack. Uh, this is what we can carry on our person. This is what we've gathered so far. And to craft something, you pick an empty slot. And then these are the things you can craft. So we have to make a metal plating. That metal plating required 50 ferrite dust, which we had, so we've now made that. So we can go to our starship, we can go to pulse engine, and we can install the metal plating. That piece is repaired. Ooh, got very sunny. Uh, right, partially complete. Board the starship and consult the ship diagnostics. So we have to get back on the ship. The Radiant Pillar BC-1. There's our number again. Functional. Starship critically damaged. Vital ingredients missing. Unable to synthesize required components. Pulse engine requires a hermetic seal. Request assistance. Recommendation. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic, hermetic seal nearby. Salvage planetary chart from the distress beacon cache. Repair pulse engine need a hermetic seal. Okay. Exit the starship again. It does do a restore point every time you leave that. So this thing over here is where we need to go to. E. I peer inside the beacon housing. As well as its distress broadcast unit, it contains a planetary chart. Take the planetary chart. Planetary chart recovered. Open the inventory with tab and highlight the chart and use it to plot a route. So there is the chart. E to plot a route. Okay. So it's telling us off in that direction is where we need to go to. Right, reach the mark coordinates. Planetary chart used to plot route. Uh, did I see more? Did you respawn? No, you haven't. Okay. That cave. Uh, it's not a cave. It's just a indentation in the ground. Is that a cave over there? That looks like a cave. Let me see. Q space. 
Careful not to go too far. Aha. Uh -huh. Right, if we go in the cave... Or see, our protection has just went all the way up to max. Because we're, we're safe under here. Right, and these things give you cobalt. Let's gather some cobalt. And these give you carbon. So let's gather that. Right. I'm just going to gather these for a few minutes. And I'll bring you back when I've, I've got, a, got a stack. Okay, we've cleared out a bunch of the stuff in this, uh, oh, did I see some more up there? There is another one up there, so get more of the cobalt. Because the cobalt comes in very useful. It looks like we've actually circumvented the, the system, because when we came in here, we're supposed to get a, exposed to a storm. So there was a super ice storm would come past uh, as you're trying to run to that location, in which case your hazard protection goes down really quickly. But because I was in here mining, in, in protection, the storm passed us by and uh, has ended. So the idea is you're supposed to have a lot of, either a lot of sodium. Where's my sto sodium? Maybe I don't have any sodium left, actually. Oh, there it is, sodium. That you have to keep topping up your hazard protection. Or, you can craft ion batteries. If you have cobalt, which you get out of these caves, and some ferrite dust, you can craft, and it says... So it says left click to build, but you can change the craft amount with A and D. So we could craft two, three, four, five. Let's build five. There we go. We've got five batteries and you can use that to recharge your hazard protection instead of the sodium that uh, you can do. It'll recharge more. But as it happens, it appears that the storm has actually passed. So. We just have to head over in this direction, so we've got to run over there. Let's see, we've got to use this boost. Seems to work quite well. It was a little trick on one of the videos I saw. It seems to be a popular thing to do. There's some more oxygen plants. Let's grab that. Grab that. Uh, do a scan. More oxygen here. There's some hydrogen, dihydrogen. Oh, another aggressive plant. Get oxygen from you. Uh, where where was it? Let's see. There's oxygen. Let's grab them. There's definitely a lot of gathering involved in this game. That that part doesn't seem to change. Although apparently, in the future, you'll earn so much money that you don't really have to go gathering. You can just buy everything. Right. Uh, see, there is the hydrogen over here. There's something else here as well. What is that? That is copper, but we can't mine copper yet. But these blue crystals is the dihydrogen. We will need some of that. Let's mine a bunch of that. We'll be able to upgrade various parts of our multi-tool later on as well. Okay. That'll do for us now. Uh, what's that smoking up there? There's the ship, oh, or the coordinates at the short, sorry, that's where we need to go to in that direction. Life, oh, another. Oh. I keep running into these hazardous flora. I need to be more mindful. Is that another one right there? Got ya. Right, uh, our life support is at 50%, so we can go to here, click on that, and it uses oxygen. Technology there we go. Recharge. So Q, space. There's some more dihydrogen. What's that? It's like a giant wheat. Is that a real thing? Nope doesn't come up with anything. We'll soon be able to make a, a better scanner and we can scan these things for money. Any unidentified material like that, we'll be able to scan it and we'll get money for discovering it. Right, run. Where we go? 
There's a building, 250 units away, that's where we want to go. Oh, I didn't time that right. There's another smoking thing. Why is it going all red? That's better. Got to be careful with the jetpack, you don't get too high because you will take fall damage. Right, so we need to go into this building. Our hazard protection restored because we're inside. Right, this thing here. Accessing archive. Six of seven logs corrupted. Oh dear. Entry number 4924A follows. No one is making this recording in case because leaving behind in the fabricator because might be of some use because visor damaged because can't find ship recover supplies the log finishes and the machine whirs to life spitting out supplies i have a hermetic seal i need to repair my ship whoever it was that led me here whoever left this message perhaps they found themselves in the same situation as i do now Okay, there's the hermetic seal that we need. Uh, nothing else inside here. Nice music. Now we have to go back to the ship, but uh, use Analyze Visor F to locate Starship. If I press F, we don't have one yet, so we have to install one. And in order to do that, we need a carbon nanotube. Some ships. Nice. Okay, so let's see. We need to go back to Exosuit. We need to get a place and make a carbon nano site. It needed, it needed a uh, fifty carbon to to make that. So now we have that. We can go to our suit and new technology uh, or is it multi-tool uh, multi-tool it is it's a multi-tool thing so we've got the carbon nanotube to make it so we can make that there we go we've installed the analysis visor so this is the visor we have analyze objects for reward so that there, that plant, or that stone, should say, unidentified material. We press F, we get the scanner. F. Oh, you've got to hold F, and then we scan it. There we go. It now tells us it's credible. We've got 200 units of money for that. Uh, that one there, it says unidentified material. F, scan. Lace light. We got another two hundred from that. Uh, let me see. Can we find anything that isn't a rock? Find a, a plant or some sort. Their ships are really low. Can we get in here. And, uh, but there is nothing in here. Right, there's the ship over there. I'm going to boost across and get that sodium. Oh, so I took some damage there because I was too high. Uh, that's the, the rocks. Uh, that's unidentified, so let's... So let me see. So that says, unidentified material, and it has ferrite dust, but something else that has question marks. So if we scan it, we now know it's a mobile litabite, uh, but this un unknown thing before is now dihydrogen, so we have the option that we'll get ferrite dust from this, but we should get the random piece of dihydrogen. Oh, weapon charge depleted, multi-tool... That uses carbon to charge that. 
Keep scanning. Ferrite dust. Dihydrogen. Oxygen. There we go. So we can get some other stuff unidentified there as well. There's something else. Right. Want plants and animals, really. Can't find any. That's got a funny. There's an animal. Scan that animal. So we've got some money and we can name it. Uh, there's another one. The red dot means you haven't scanned it. Got some more money for that. What's this thing? Floating crystal, glowing mineral, but need a, an advanced mining laser to, to break that. We don't have that. There's some more sodium. There we go. Right, let's go. There's a plant. So that's the unidentified hazardous plant, so we can scan that. Oh, we missed it. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, let me see. So run, do, and then scan. Right, and then we have to boost our way down. Oh, took fall damage again. Takes a bit of getting used to. Not the not the best starter planet I've, I've started on. Right. So cute. Oh, there's more diet hydrogen. Want that? That's the some good stuff. Gather it all while we can. Uh, ship is over there. What's this then? Frozen tubers, just E. Okay. Looked like it had a weird shield over it. Here we go, there's the ship. Paletta Enclave, region of planet. Okay, because we've got the scanner, we can find areas now. Right, so repair the pulse engine. Access the starship inventory with tab. Starship, pulse engine. Uh, there's a hermetic seal. Pulse engine repaired. Only to 50%, but it's repaired. Launch thrusters critically damaged, so we need dihydrogen jelly, which we have, and we need pure ferrite, which we don't have. Okay, repair thr launch thrusters with the dihydrogen jelly. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, exit. We can access the starship stuff anywhere in the region. So there's the dihydrogen jelly, we have that. If we didn't have it, we must have picked that up from somewhere. We could have crafted it in here. There's dihydrogen jelly, it just needs 40 dihydrogen. Okay, now we need to make pure ferrite. So we need to construct a refiner to refine our ferrite dust into pure ferrite. So we need a metal plating to make that. So space metal plating needs 50 ferrite dust. There we go. And then go into the build menu with Z and deploy a portable refiner. Yeah, let me, can we escape that? What did that need? It needed some 30 oxygen and one metal plating to craft. So we place that down, we access it, we need fuel, it'll take carbon. And then it says, place ferrite dust in the portable refiner's input. Uh, ferrite dust. 
there is ferrite dust. It says there it'll make pure ferrite on a ratio of 1 to 1. So let's begin. It does it pretty quick. Uh, I think we need 100. So. Let's stop it there. There we go. Uh, inspect the deployed refiner. I think we can pick it up. How do we pick it up again? E. No. How do we pick it up? Oh, middle mouse button to pick up. And it picks it up and it picks up all the materials that was in it as well. Repair the launch thrusters. There we go. Thermal protection falling. Let's just jump in the ship. So the ship is fully repaired now. All system are function. Return to the ship. All systems functional. Seek answers amongst the stars. Use W to take off. But we're not going to do that. Right now, this is going to be where we're going to stop. We've got as far as getting our basics sorted out on our suit, our scanners, and we've got our ship repaired ready to launch off into the stars to find out what is our story and where we where we have come from and what we're what the plan is but that's going to do it for today thank you so much for watching if you liked this video please hit the like button hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode bye now